today guys we're filling in the a backyard pool All right, so to give you a little explanation, we got us a backyard pool. Now, we're gonna fill this thing in, it's been ripped out. But here's the kicker, there's no access to it. So as you can see right here, I mean, you can't get a piece of equipment through here, they probably have it latched maybe, I can't get in. Um, I think maybe pick up on this. No, they got it latched. But basically, this is uh, all the access basically that little distance between the house and there um, over here on the other side is the property line so as you can see as I walk over here um, this fence post right here is the property line which means that's how narrow this property is so there's no access at all so the neighbor is nice enough they gave us permission to use their drive um to get stuff in here so i gotta get the mini pulled all the way up in here dad went to get a dump trailer full of sand the first one so i'm gonna get backed in here maybe use some of this dirt on top of this concrete to build up i don't know build something up to sit on higher but i gotta reach over this privacy fence and fill that big hole in in there we're gonna have to do some hand shoveling stuff like that so if you can see this privacy fence is six foot tall ish i gotta reach over that somehow and put all the sand in there so i need to be as tall as i can i'd really like to be on the trailer to be able to do this but that's just not i mean i can't get in here with the trailer so and that's not an option so we're just gonna have to do the best we can and hopefully we don't have to cut off part of the privacy fence because i'm afraid we might have to the minimum take the saws all and cut some of this fence out i don't know i don't know i don't want to take it down but we may have to do something i mean there's just not much and here you can see again that hole it's a big oral hole and there's not much space to work so i'm gonna get unloaded switch my bucket to my uh, smooth bucket and get back in here and then hopefully he'll be here with the uh, trailer of sand all right guys well we got it backed in here i mean there is like six inches on that side and maybe i don't know maybe a foot on each side maybe i would say that's max it was super tight getting him back in here so now i think i'm at the right spot to where i can get it in there jump the hole. yeah well you can't miss it there's the hole I'll jump around here if I don't fall through. Maybe this will be a better view. But tight, tight right there to the corner of that house, the corner of the roof. You need me to back the trailer up?
Perfect. Good. Yeah, that, it's almost empty. You may go do that. Okay. You may go do that. Yeah, you're probably going to have to. I'm afraid your truck's going to roll. And that would be bad. All right, guys. The next load's here, so I'm going to start putting it in there. All the way in there. So. All right, guys. Well, load number two just got delivered. Uh, I would have got more footage of what's going on. Hopefully on the third load I will. But we're trying to beat the quarry. It's... I don't know 230 so we're only gonna get like one two more loads maybe and we gotta do all kinds of other things so I think we'll be all right though so here's where we ended with load number two this so this would be 10 tons so we should have enough I think to pretty much get it level he's going to get four more tons um because but uh, to be honest I think with what's here if we spread it all out we'd be pretty close but we want to be able to be pretty full and we got to put dirt up underneath this deck some so i'm going to start to shovel in because he's going to be here or he's going to want to know how many he want how many i want him to get here in a minute when he gets there so i'll set you up over here and you guys can watch me shovel Well, I'd say that's pretty close to what we need. So try to get a hold of him. I don't know if you can see me. I was trying to call him. See, probably only need a ton, to be honest. But he's going to get three, so we have plenty then. I hate to have too little, but I hate to have too much too to get. Have to try to go get rid of a ton or whatever of sand. Go all the way to the farm and dump it out, and then bring the dump trailer back to town. So. I guess we can put it between the rungs of the deck, but really want to do that. So I'll try calling them again and we'll figure it out. And if either way it comes with three tons, we'll have plenty. So I'll catch up with you guys when he gets back because this process will go. Load number three is arrived. He's going around. I'll give him the camera so you can see exactly what's going on so okay so we need some right here in this little so yeah I, I i think i think a couple ton will probably get it did you shovel this all out Wow. And then I called you five, six times. 
I just never, I just never see you run a shovel, so it's just. Yeah. Probably belt, belt. A little more that way. Right there. Yep. Keep dump it. Yep. Yep. That's good. Okay. Oh, well, I, I, I gotta give you this. I can't do both. Okay, hang tight for a little bit. It kind of packs down a little bit though. Yeah. And, you know, they, like I said, they can kind of knife those in, but we're getting too much up over here. Too much for them to be able to knife in, so. Wasn't even half that trailer for it, was it? No. Like uh, I was calling to say, you know, we get two tons. Yeah. Or a ton. Well, I don't know why my phone's not working very well at all. I didn't even. It's like it didn't ring even when your mom called. I called her because I couldn't get a hold of you, and I thought, well, maybe, maybe if mom calls from somewhere else, maybe he'd go through. So I had her call, and then. She didn't answer, then I called you twice more, and then I called her back. She answers and goes, I'll call him, and then you didn't answer. So then she called me back, and then we're on the phone to talk about that, then you call her. So. And then she said, he's already on the scale, so he'll be pissed when he gets there. That's what she said. Well, I could put more. I'll put more. No, I think that's good. Okay. Well, I'll put more tongue. Well, although here. there's a little more. I don't know. Maybe here. Maybe. Uh, no, I don't know. I, I. I think that's probably good. You could throw one as far as you can. As far as you can reach, and then I just spread it between these two. But I think that's it. One more scoop. You want a half a scoop? Nah. Just throw a scoop out here as far as you can. Yeah. 
Yeah, but once you pull forward and we're not gonna fix all this shit out here. And this girl, I think she wanted the dirt leveled out, right? I don't know 100%, but I thought so. Yeah, she went to Tennessee, that's what the guy said. She went, oh, he come down and talk to you already? Yeah. What did he say? He just said she, she left for Tennessee this morning. She said to look out for you. I guess they were having a bunch of break-ins last night. Really? I guess, yeah, some Cadillac converter got stolen and all kinds of shit was going down. So, Damn. So, he said, she said to just uh, let you know that, yeah, you have full access and he didn't really say about the dirt, but he kind of said, hey, if you guys need the dirt or you want to use the dirt in there, like, kind of, she doesn't want it, basically, so. Well, but we're gonna need some of the dirt where your ruts are right here. So okay. We'll probably use that. Okay. A bunch of that, level and then level it out. That or throw it on the trailer. Yeah, I guess we could throw it on the trailer. Take it back with me. Well, I gotta go to the farm anyway. Well, you're gonna have to pull forward so I can. You know what I mean? Yep. All right. Beautiful. It's all done. All right, guys. Well, load it back up. Explain the way everything turned out here. I think I can get through in the garage here. So everything turned out great. Ended up taking like probably close to 12 tons, actually, to be honest. So it's the way it all turned out. It's all rough looking, but uh, there's just going to be a deck over it. So it's not that important. They'll have to probably shovel to get their uh, runners through there. But we got it pretty close enough for them to do their thing with the deck and it not hold a bunch of water, which was the main purpose. You can't just build the deck over the hole because that thing would just fill full of water and just be terrible back here. So I think they're redoing a lot of this deck. I'm not sure, to be honest, what's going on. But... They got to reduce at least sections of it because of how bad the rot was from the pool being here all this has been covered in pool water so it's just hard on the deck boards but my my job done my job is done so we got the sand in so appreciate you guys watching please like and subscribe stay tuned for more